Well, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been really wet and cold recently. And as you guys know, when the puppies reach about five or six weeks of age, I love to get them outside and get them used to being on the grass. We have Gemma's litter. She's got three puppies and I'm gonna bring them out since it's a nice day today. Get them out on the grass, get them used to feeling the grass and get them used to it and just enjoy playing with them. So that's what this video is about. I hope you guys enjoy. So for those who follow along regularly with the channel, you will have seen Gemma in previous videos and know who this girl is. For those who don't know, Gemma is one of our guardian home dogs, which means that she is one of our dogs in her breeding lineup, but she actually lives with her forever family already. She comes back here and she breeds, then she goes home pregnant, comes back just before she's about to have her litter, raises her puppies, and then she goes back to her home. So this is actually Gemma's last litter. She's going to be retiring after this. We're going to miss her a lot. She's been a great addition to O'Shea Springers and we just absolutely love having her. She's such a sweet, sweet girl. Her family are very, very excited. They can't wait to call her their own and uh, they won't have to part with her anymore. So she'll get to live out the rest of her days being a pet and we're excited for her. So I know it's been a while since I did a puppy video for you guys. I actually had a video of this litter a couple of weeks back. Um, Gemma actually had four puppies in her litter when they were born and I had the video of the litter introducing them to you guys and letting you see them when they were younger. I had it all recorded, I had it edited, it was just ready to upload onto YouTube. And unfortunately, one of the puppies passed away unexpectedly. It is very rare when that happens, but it does happen and it really does knock everything off because now I have to contact the family who had picked out that puppy and let them know this horrible, heartbreaking news. So out of sensitivity toward them, I usually stop all social media on the puppies. I don't do pictures for a week, maybe two, depending on um, timing and how, and how things are going. So if there's a gap in between, sometimes that's the reason why we don't like to publicly announce it. Just for the sake of the family, it's just being sensitive toward them while they're going through this grieving process. 
We have always been very um, adamant that we want families to pick their puppies at a week old. Usually by a week old, puppies are out of that kind of danger zone. If they're going to pass away, they usually pass away within the first five days. But unfortunately, sometimes nature happens. We don't know why it happens, why things happen the way that they do. But sometimes puppies pass away later on and it's, it's devastating it's always a horrible situation for us it's heartbreaking for us and it's also heartbreaking for the families as well so i wasn't sure if i, I was gonna talk about it in this video um, or not but jamie and i had discussed it and felt that you know what i think it's a good idea to address it and for those especially people that are thinking about breeding because there are a lot of good things about breeding, there are a lot of highs in breeding, um, there's a lot of great things, but there's also a lot of hard stuff that goes with it, and it's not for everybody. And I think a lot of people, once they start, they don't realize just how hard it can become, especially as you do grow bigger and you have more dogs and more litters. The hardest thing is having deaths. Um, when you have a living creature, when you're dealing with living creatures, you have things that can happen. You do your best to weave in all those little things that could go wrong and sometimes you do all that and something goes wrong anyway. So it is hard, it's not an easy thing to do. It's um, certainly very challenging at times and you need a strong stomach to do it. Jamie and I have been breeding for eight years and I can tell you it never gets easy losing a puppy and um, I've always said the hardest thing is losing a puppy uh, or when your adults are retiring it's a really hard thing to do when you have them and you love and you care for them and you, they're your dog and then you have to move them on so yeah they're, those are the two hardest things I would say with breeding is dealing with death and um, and then moving on your adults so it has been a little bit of a tricky time, but we're getting through it. Thankfully, the family that lost their puppy, they have got another puppy from another litter that I'm gonna do a video on and let you guys see how they're doing. And we just had another litter born just last Friday. So we have three litters just now. So I will try to get more videos for you guys, let you guys see how they're all doing. Come on, let's go. We are going back in now. It's getting cold and I think it's time for them to go back inside. It's almost dinner time and I need to go get dinner ready now too. So, I am going to put these puppies away and hope that my spaghetti squash that I just remembered in the oven is not burnt. Oh dear. And I really hope that you like to see the puppies. We've got more litters. These guys are going to be heading home in a couple weeks. And we have another two litters that we will get videos off and show you how they're doing. You don't want to miss those. Believe me, there's one litter that's really cool. Alright, see you in the next one.